In this video, we are going to look at another example of differential equations. In a town by a lake, some residents started showing signs of poisoning. After some investigation, they traced the problem to the lake, which they drew their drinking water from. The residents found that the river flowing into the lake carries 5 kilograms per cubic kilometer of the toxic chemical. Moreover, since river flow rate varies with the season, they modeled it using a cosine curve. The river flow rate is Ft equals 2 minus cos bracket 2 pi t over 365 where T is in days. Let the concentration of toxic chemical in the lake be CT. Moreover, suppose that the 500 cubic kilometers lake maintains a constant volume and was initially clean. Since the lake maintains a constant volume, the rate of water flowing out of the lake must also be FT. We can also assume that the water flowing out of the lake carries CT concentration of the toxic chemical, same as the lake. If the toxicity threshold is 3 kilograms per cubic kilometer, approximately how long has the river been carrying the toxic chemical before people began falling ill? We begin by forming a differential equation. Let Pt be the total amount of toxic chemical in the lake in kilograms. The rate of change in P equals the amount of chemical entering minus the amount of chemical leaving. We know that the amount of chemical entering the lake is 5 times Ft. The amount of chemical leaving the lake is Ct times Ft, where Ct is the concentration of chemical in the lake. Therefore, dPt over dt equals 5 times Ft minus Ct times Ft. Rearranging the terms, we get 5 minus Ct times Ft on the right hand side. The river flow rate is as shown below. We substitute this equation into the rate equation. Therefore, we get dPt over dt equals 5 minus Ct 2 minus the cosine term. The concentration of chemical in the lake equals the total amount of chemical in the lake divided by the volume of the lake. Therefore, CT equals PT over 500, and DC over DT equals D over DT, P over 500. The right-hand side is equal to 1 over 500 DP over DT. Substituting the expression for DP over DT, we get 1 over 500 times 5 minus C times 2 minus the cosine term. Next, we separate the variables so that the C terms are on one side of the equation and the T terms are on the other side. We then get 1 over 5 minus C DC equals to 1 over 500 times 2 minus the cosine term DT. Next, we integrate both sides. C cannot be greater than 5 because the lake is initially clean and the chemical would be diluted in the lake. Therefore, after integration, the left-hand side of the equation is minus log absolute value 5 minus C. The right-hand side of the equation is 1 over 500 bracket 2t minus 365 over 2 pi times sine 2 pi t over 365 plus b, where b is a constant. The integral of the cosine term can be found by u substitution, or by observing that the derivative of 365 over 2 pi times sine 2 pi t over 365 is cos 2 pi t over 365. Next, we multiply both sides by minus 1, and exponentiate both sides. Therefore, the left hand side is 5 minus c. And the right hand side is e raised to the power of the previous right hand side expression. Next, we separate the constant b from the rest of the power as shown. We let d equal e to the power b to simplify the equation. This gives us 5 minus c equals d times e to the power shown, where d is a constant. Rearranging to make the chemical concentration the subject of the equation, we get c equals 5 minus d e to the power shown. We are given that the lake is initially clean, that is, when t equals 0, c equals 0. We substitute these values into the equation. Therefore, 0 equals 5 minus d e to the power 0. This gives us d equals 5. Therefore, the concentration of the toxic chemical t days after it started entering the lake is c equals 5 minus 5 times e to the power shown. Now, given that the toxicity threshold is 3 kilograms per cubic kilometer, approximately how long has the river been carrying the toxic chemical before people began falling ill? We can plot the curve using Wolfram Alpha. We find that the concentration reaches 3 kilograms per cubic kilometer when t is around 200. Therefore, the river entering the lake has been carrying the toxic chemical for around 200 days before people began falling ill.